of pubs and clubs even earlier than the government planned. A community safety committee has recommended last drinks at 2am. Lauren Day explains. It's a bill designed to make our streets safer at night, tackling alcohol fueled violence by forcing people out of pubs and clubs earlier. This is a, a good bill with measures that will see a change in our society. The 100 plus page report was released by the Legal Affairs Committee. It argues the more drunk a person is, the more dangerous they are. But when people are heavily intoxicated early hours of the morning, they're not thinking about what penalty they might get if they throw that punch. Labor committee members say the solution is to deny patrons drinks after 2 a.m. and stop the sale of takeaway alcohol from 10 p.m. But they admit they need more evidence. We're seeking data from our Queensland Police, Queensland Health Service providers. The LNP won't support the bill. It says although more needs to be done following Cole Miller's one punch death, it wants more facts and says similar changes in New South Wales didn't work. Evidence that exists is inconclusive, it's confused and it's not concise. The opposition also claims drug use is on the rise and shutting pubs and clubs earlier only encourages more violence on the streets. The lockout laws will be debated when Parliament resumes next week. The opposition has ruled out a trial, saying that only proves no one supports the changes. But if it did go down the track of a trial, that that's just an indication that there's not confidence in what the government's proposing. Labor says any changes should be reviewed after 18 months. Lauren Day, 10 Eyewitness News.